Hey everybody. Hope you're having a good day. As you can see, I've made a lot of progress with the brain map. I honestly don't know where to go next. I'm literally just like getting stuff at this point. That is a good idea though, I should get that. Because all the assault visions are very, very good. They deal they're pretty good. Do I have that? Drive two, small cell recovery. Okay, I only got one of them. Um, yeah, I should get that first. Then that. We'll, we'll complete the double trigger. Let's. We do the bond episodes first, then, then go to Bond. perfect. Do you want to come to Kikuchiba with me? Kikuchiba? What for? There's something I want to talk to you about. I thought we could change locations, like we did when we went to Mizuhagawa. That's fine. But don't worry about packing a lunch for us this time. I think it'll take too long. Let's just get going. Oh, okay then. Let's head over to Kikuchiba. He looks like he wanted to make lunch for us. <laughs> he was like, nah. Nah, I'm good. And he's like, but... I don't want to make food. Let's go to the roof of that building. If we're going to talk, I want to do it with a good view. All right. There's nowhere to run. As usual, this place is full of others. It'll be easy if we fight together. Let's go. Well, we'll use this opportunity to just do some extra farming while on the way. It's actually been a while since these uh, Bond episodes have just had any combat. It's not just exposition this time. Well, that's weird. Hey, do you remember when we came here together before? A lot has happened since then. Before? When was that? You know, when we went looking for Captain Seto's fountain pen. You said you were doing a background check. Oh, that. I met him for Naomi's sake and got the fountain pen for Captain Seto. Now neither of them are with us anymore. Back then, I had no idea that we'd get caught up in something that involved the whole world. Not just us, but everyone around us, too. It's nothing we could have expected. You're right. Hello, sorry to interrupt. Two large groups of others were confirmed near you. There are a lot of them, more than you usually see around there. It shouldn't be a problem for you guys, but be careful just in case. Affirmative. What do you want to do? Let's split up. That'll be quicker. Okay. Then I'll take this side. I'll contact you again once I take down a few. Alright. Let's both be careful. There's more of them than I thought. How are things with you, Yuito? Kasane? What's going on? Yuito? I can't hear you, Yuito. Haruka, do you know what's going on? Neither of them are responding. Our signal is being jammed. SAS is down too. I need to get through this somehow. Looks like I'm surrounded. I'll take care of them. Ooh. Nice battle conditions. I can't believe communications went down so suddenly. Maybe it was careless to split up. If this ends up, it won't be a problem for me. But I wonder if Yuito's alright. No. Worrying won't help. He'll be fine. I can trust that now. It feels strange believing in someone. Naomi was the only person I trusted like that before. I can feel it even if he's far away. Yuito is fighting somewhere. Believes in me, so it's all right. I won't look back. I will fight my own fight. Good. It dropped something rare. Yeah. Let's keep going. 
Not exactly like insanely powerful or without SAS. It kind of, it's definitely a handicap with this mission. I'm starting to hit the item limit of a lot of these uh, materials, so that makes things pretty interesting that I don't really use any of it. <laughs> I've been playing on hard mode this whole time. Can't imagine how how much easier the game is when you play on just regular. This is pretty good. And I have to do it alone? <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah. That was close. It's really hard to tell. I'm like, well... It's not really hard to tell, I'm just playing badly.
I'm not done yet. Yuito! SAS still seems to be down. That still didn't do it? I need to watch him closely to sync up with him when the time is right. Or you know. was a close one it was i wasn't really all that worried i assumed you would act when you did <laughs> i was nervous i guess we can work together even without sas i don't think i could have pulled it off with someone else thank you for getting the timing right <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you you're always so harsh am i well whatever let's make our way to the top You get a good view of New Himuka from up here. So what did you want to talk to me about? I wanted to ask you about your plans after all the fighting is over. That's a difficult question. How about you? What are you thinking? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. I want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power, or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time, but I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud, that's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment, but if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. I mean, it will be inconvenient. But you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. So I'll be all right. That's good. When we first met, I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think you really can change the world. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet. But I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon? I thought I understood the first time I heard about it. 
but the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. My sister always watched over me. She protected me all my life. Now it's my turn to watch over someone else. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me. And you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. As you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean, Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother. And the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here, inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kind of like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere. Even going beyond the sky. <laughs> I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No. I know you can. Thank you. So... It looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me sad. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us. Though, listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long, I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. Oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose. Nice title card. Lazy as always, you never change. Thank you for the compliment. And you're as stuffy and by the book as ever. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you very much. So how have things been with Major General Fubuki lately? Good? Why are you bringing him up? You rescued him when he was missing. You used your power at full speed to go look for him, remember? Oh, right. A lot's happened since then, and I can't be bothered remembering such trivial matters. If you must know, I think he's still alive. That's good. Just like always, she'll never change, will she? How's Aura she doing, Kasane? Does she seem strange to you? No. Did something happen? I suddenly got a message from her saying, good morning. This has never happened before. I thought it could be code for something, so I wondered if there was a problem. No, there haven't been any problems. She's just lazing around on the sofa like her usual self. Skipping out on work again. Okay, that's a relief. Sorry, just let me know if anything happens. He's such a worrywart. 
But I guess I can check for him. Arashi, you got a second? I was thinking about grabbing something to eat in town. In town? Ugh. I guess it's not so bad going outside once in a while. So, where are we going? You are acting strange. Fubuki said what? How rude! You should be mad at him for making you spy on me. That's a little much. If you have a problem with him, you should message him again. What changed? I mean, you messaged your brother and even accepted an invitation to eat out. I told you that I hate waste, but it's not necessarily bad. I thought I could fine-tune my lifestyle a little. Consider it a personal upgrade. Your hair clip, Naomi's cooking, and his letters. I used to just write them off as a waste, but I started thinking that there could be some things that weren't so bad. Arashi 1.0 had a lot of flaws. Arashi 2.0 has been operating for a long time, but I see some areas that can be improved. In other words, Arashi 2.1 is currently in open beta. That's a weird analogy. Well, Arashi 2.1 doesn't seem so bad. I'd give it a playtest. Thank you for the feedback. I'll keep that in mind. Well, we finished eating and I'm feeling plenty energetic. I'm off to sleep then. The fact that you didn't say you were going to work means that the update is pretty minor. If you change too much, you're bound to create errors. You have to stick to small changes. Is that letter... I knew it. I thought she threw it out. It's her first sentimental item. Arashi 2.1 is proving to be quite the major upgrade. Kasane, there's a workout I want to try. Would you mind helping me? Sure. What do I need to do? I'm going to do some bench presses, and I need more than the equipment weights. So I want you to use your psychokinesis to push the barbell down. Isn't that dangerous? It seems to me that the weights you have now are enough of a workout. No, I want a bigger challenge. Please. Okay, I'll give it a shot. <sighs> <clears throat> You're not lifting the barbell up at all. Do you want me to stop using my psychokinesis? No. Just a little more. I feel like I can do it with just a little more. He's either really persistent or really stubborn. I failed to lift it a single millimeter. Forgive me for wasting your time. Learning that workouts like this are unrealistic makes it not a waste. <laughs> That's harsh. It's going to be harder to reach my goal than I thought. Why are you in such a rush? You should have recognized that this was going to be impossible. I want to surpass my limits. You made me realize that the last time we talked. I was too caught up with having or not having my abilities. The important thing is what you do, not the method in which you do it. I guess I did say something like that. When I sat down and thought about what I wanted to do, a goal came to mind. However, the goal proved to be too big. Something I couldn't achieve without changing. What is it? To build a society in which duds are treated equally to others. Right now in New Himuka, people without abilities are treated like they don't even exist. That's true. I didn't even learn the term bell pepper until the other day. 
The reason I'm so scared of losing my abilities is because I'm well aware of the state of our society. If that doesn't change, then duds like me will never be rid of that underlying anxiety. You're right, that is a big goal. But I don't know how it relates to that reckless training we just did. I thought I could break through my psychological shell and grow as a person by surpassing the limits of my physical body. If I'm going to change the entire country by myself, then I can't stay the way I am. I need to work even harder. If I don't, I'll never be able to accomplish it. I mean, it may be too large of a goal for me to ever accomplish on my own either way. Yes, this might be a bigger problem than what you can fix on your own. But that doesn't mean it can't be accomplished. Kasane? Look. What are you doing? If you carry it with your psychokinesis, it eliminates the whole purpose of the workout. In that case, I think the workout is unreasonable to begin with. You certainly are right about that. What I'm trying to say is that this barbell is the same as the problem with society. <sighs> you don't need to try and take everything on by yourself. There's something each of us can do. Nobody can change a country by themselves. So why don't we just work together as a group? I see your point, but I don't know if I'm capable of inspiring people to act like my brother. You remember what I said, but not what you've said yourself. What? Those with strong wills naturally draw people to them. You said that. Right now, you have a clear goal and will. I'm sure there will be people who will help you if you asked. I see. I suppose I can't argue against myself. It seems like I misunderstood what I need to do. I thought I needed to become stronger without anyone's help. But really, I was just making excuses because I was afraid to try. Once you take the first step, I doubt you'll find it that hard. <laughs> Easier said than done. But you're correct. I can't just stand here forever. Once the fighting ends, I'll do what I can. I'll raise support as I face this nation's issues. Even if things don't change right away. One day duds like me will be able to live their lives in the open, unashamed of who they are. I'll help you however I can, too. Thank you very much. Then could you start by returning the barbell? I'd like to resume my workout. Okay, but you're not going to do anything reckless again, right? Of course not. I'll be doing my normal workout. The best way to exercise is to go at your own pace. You still put on all the weights, though. I said that I would not be reckless. Not that I would go easy. Here we go. You really are stubborn. But maybe that's what makes you who you are. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. It doesn't seem like he's listening. He's having too much fun. I'll leave him alone. I have something to tell you, Kasane. I guess more of a confession. I... It takes me some time to truly trust a person. So, I may have been appraising you a bit when we first met. Are you saying you trust me now? Yes, of course. I trust you as a friend. I hope we can continue this way. <laughs> I'm so happy. It feels like we've become closer. Me too. I feel close to you. Maybe we just learned a lot about each other. I think it's for me to hold on. you would need for your flowers, and make sure you... Are you listening to me, Kagura? Yep. You know very well that I'd never miss a word my beloved Tsugumi says. Okay, but I'm going to be mad if you don't put this all to use. <laughs> I know, I know. Leave it to your guy, Kagura. 
you talk a lot with Sugumi. You aren't going to ask her out on a date. Oh, are you jealous? <laughs> it seems like I'm back in the game after 2,000 years. I'm starting to understand. Do you see Sugumi and me as replacements for your daughter? Oh, I know. Want to help me with an errand? Don't change the subject. A good woman doesn't point that out. I want to go clean up an old hideout I used to use. An old hideout? Yeah, it's a place I used to lay low back when I was doing my spy work. There should still be a lot of inside information and classified data on Togetsu, so I thought I might as well grab it all. Hmm. That might actually be of use to the government when handling them in the future. It's not for the government. I just wanted to do my part when it comes to them. Okay, I'll help. Where is it? Kikuchiba. Let's get going. I'll send you the coordinates to the hideout. We'll head there. I just know there's going to be others. The last time we came here, you said the city was haunted. Oh, yeah. It just reminded me of myself a little. Can I get my, uh, butt out back? The sadness of being left behind? Yeah, I was just being a little sentimental. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Kyo. Oh, wow, that looks like our target. Just my eyes. Alright, let's get it. With that oil, it'll be hard to move if it gets on you, so be careful. Okay, so I might can't split. Yeah, let's take down the rest just like that. Trigger happy there. Burn it. We'll corner it. Get my eyes. Wanna go? It's working. Focus on that spot. Wait. 
No, not the right About our last conversation... What? We were in Mizuagawa. You were telling me to do something meaningful? Well, I've been thinking about it ever since then, but nothing really comes to mind. Once we stopped Togetsu's plan, I felt like I fulfilled my role. I was thinking... It might be time for a ghost from the past like me to move on. Listen, that was the old you who fulfilled his role. We still need Kagero in the here and now. I don't know if you've realized, but Kagero doesn't even exist. What do you mean? On the moon and in Togetsu, I was called Shin Daniel. Kagero Dawn is just a pseudonym. That name is a shimmer that doesn't exist. Maybe that's true for you, but for us, it's different. Whatever your real name might be, the Kagero Don we've known in the OSF isn't a ghost. And when you were talking fondly with Tsugumi, you didn't look like a ghost then. Hmm. What Tsugumi and the rest of us need is you. We don't need some stranger from the past. How is it that you've become this wise at your young age? I'm seriously impressed with you. Yeah, if people need Kagero Don, then maybe I don't have to feel so empty after all. Perhaps it's time I put my past self to rest and started focusing on the present. I guess I'll need to clean up my old haunts first. We're almost to the hideout. Let's go. Burn it down! I trust you, Kasane. You can do it! should be around here. Why did you make one in such a dangerous place? Leave the rest because me. the more dangerous the place is, the easier it is to hide. Besides, no I get away most danger with one invisible. Let's keep going. Well, you could have just come here by yourself today. I've been alone for 2,000 years. I get lonely when I'm just by myself. Say, wait, I was joking. Don't leave me. Leave nothing. Use it as you will. Counting on you! Yeah. Uh, 
Finally made it. I know it's shabby, but make yourself comfortable. Actually, something seems off. It's pretty messy. Do you think someone broke in? Seems like it. Wait here. Let me take a look around. Dang. All the data's either been taken or destroyed. Most likely Togetsu. They probably felt the need to clean things up when they realized I turned on them. I figured they would. Why come all the way out here if you predicted this would happen? Hmm. Well, I wanted to confirm my suspicions and also grab some of my personal belongings. <sighs> Sukumi. Did you find something? Is that a picture? It looks ripped. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's an old photo. Is it of your family? If we find the other pieces, we might be able to restore it. No, it's okay. It's not like this is the only photo I have. But it's important to you. What's important are the memories. Don't you remember what you said to me? It's because of the important things we've lost that we have to live on. And I think now is the time I need to get my act together and keep moving forward. If I keep dragging this on the way I've been doing until now, then I'm sure I'll start upsetting everyone. Okay, if you're fine with that. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Talking with you helped me realize a lot of things. You said you were going to move forward. What are you planning on doing? First, I'll settle things with my past. As someone who's worked with Togetsu, I have a responsibility to deal with Babe and Karin. I have to see the things we started to the very end. Then I'll finally be able to put my past to bed. And when that's done? After that? Well, I'll think about a new life. How I'll live, what I can do. I think that sounds good. At least you don't sound as lame as you did before. Well, well. It seems like you've come to appreciate my newfound sense of maturity. If you'd like to go out on a date... It might be a while before you find this new life of yours. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? These dates are your way of connecting with your daughter. To be the father you never could be. Well, gosh, I keep telling you that you shouldn't be saying these things out loud. I guess I preferred it more when I was just the creepy old guy asking a young girl out on a date. That work? Okay, so... Daddy Kagero? Let's drop the daddy bit. I don't think my fragile heart can take it. Looks like he's back to being his old self. That might be for the best. You really have grown, and I don't mean your height. You mean as a person? Yeah. I've known a lot of people, and there aren't many that I really trust. I guess I can't talk much about being trustworthy, but you're really turning into a good person. You have a pretty good understanding of who I am. I can just tell without you saying it. You talk too much. However, I'm glad we both understand each other.
I gotta split this up before it gets too much longer. We'll see you on the next one.